All right, welcome to another episode of Test Chamber. I'm your temporary host, Jeff Cork, joined today by handsome editor Joe Juba. That's me. I, I'm sad that you're the temporary host. Don't tell don't tell Reiner. This is a big secret, but you're my favorite host. Oh, it's because I call you handsome editor Joe Juba. That's correct. Yeah, yes. scratch the uh-huh. behind the ears yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's how it works. And then RPG maniac, machine aficionado, Kim Wallace. What do you think? Um, I don't like any of those. All right, player. <laughs> <laughs> Player Kim Wallace. Player Kim Faith Wallace. Wallace. Ta da! And intern Liz Lanier. Hey, everybody. First test chamber. Uh huh. <laughs> so do not blow it. Because <laughs> <laughs> we can. Speaking of we'll blowing it, this mic. is boring. Okay. Yeah, this is super boring. All right, I'm going into a town. <laughs> so we're, what are we playing here, Kim? Tales of Zillia. And right now we are entering a town to a cutscene. Shocker. Tales is known for lots of cutscenes, lots of character development. Um, right now, we're on the way to Mila's main town, and what has happened in the story, and I'm not going to spoil wow, anything, is that an there is powerful fruit. technology that a bunch of countries of or cider. regions are fighting over, and here. these guys are trying to set it right. Is it an ancient technology? No. So you mentioned that we're going to what? Mila's... You said Mila or something, yeah, which is Mila's which is the, the name. Mila. The name, and this is this is kind of a different one in that there are like two main characters or something, yes. right? You can choose to play yeah, as Mila or Jude. I actually. So which one's the 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 long the blondie yes. here is is Jude is a boy. Mila. Okay. <laughs> He's the hey. one in the middle. Okay, I'm I'm sorry for not getting the the weird names and genders in an RPG straight. All so right. here's what I'm gonna kind of sway our listeners towards going the Mila path. I played the Jude path. I think Mila is a more interesting character because with her, not things are not how they are on the surface. And you'll find that out as you go on. But she's definitely, I think, one of the more interesting characters to even grace the Tales universe. So, so Jude is pretty much what you see is what you get. Yeah, well, see, Mila's very cold, take charge. Like, I'm focused on the mission. Let's get this done. Jude is like, I'm so unsure of myself. I, I'm, I'm still growing up. Great. I still don't have any much to do. <laughs> I so love it. We are now in this <laughs> town, yeah, and Jude's kind of, you know, Jude, Jude is learning from Mila as Mila is learning from Jude. He's to learning be, how to walk, apparently. Yeah, he's, well, I, I wanted, I knew a skit was, I knew a skit was coming up, and I wanted, these are the big Why things. Skits are optional. Okay. And you can, like, they usually give you more information on the story. Sometimes it has characters joking around. This has always been a tale, staple of the tale series, so there's plenty in this game. You get them, like, every few minutes, so okay. be prepared if you really want want to get into the story to be watching a lot of content like this right? these are voice mm-hmm. which uh you know hasn't been in every game so uh people will be happy about that because it makes, makes them tick a little more so let's say let's say someone plays as mila and then beats it is there like a new game plus yes. that you can start with mm-hmm. jude so yes. you can say okay yeah so you don't need to just play it through cold two times to see the whole thing right you can play it in a game plus okay. and you get a sense so while you're playing as jude for instance at some of the mila stuff you just don't go as yeah yeah yeah, yeah. there's there's different perspectives like you just get it more from jude's perspective at certain points in the story they'll split up uh, and so that's when you would have mila's point of view she might have been in a different dungeon a different place you Check just never know. Okay, so it's not it's it's not like two drastically different games. Both mm-hmm. both characters just, are in the party yeah. most of the time. Yeah. And there's okay, okay. There's just certain You're scenes lost. that they split up. Hey, well, this little kid's yelling right. at me. Now we really hmm. want um, to lots of side quests, at. which I think <laughs> we're entering <laughs> one right now. These it's shiny objects. Shiny usually, object. you can find Finders goofy um, stuff to change their appearance with, like crazy glasses, and so. Bunny ears, <laughs> horns. Mm-hmm. So I like to dress my characters up this? as goofy as possible, Whoa, and then have them, re- you know, reenacting like letters, these deep different. scenes. But well, just looks like, like Dead goofy. Rising is what you're trying yeah. to say. Oh, yeah. It's exactly okay. Yeah. Hmm. My interest yada, yada, yada. is peaked. <laughs> All you have to do for Jeff is tell something. <laughs> tell him that something is like Dead Rising. Yeah, and he's, there a, so a bat is in this MLB game. Interesting. The other member in our party right now is Alvin. He's a mercenary who kind of goes with you because he w- helps you and he wants you to pay him, but you never asked him oh, to help you. Does, so does he have, have a heart of gold? No. Oh, Elvin okay, good, is good. Un- like, you don't and know if you can trust him, right? He's always shady, suspicious, and that kind of plays through the entire game. Is this guy on your side or not? Which is interesting. 
Okay. So, yeah, you find these treasures, like I said, that are special items. So there's plenty of exploring to do, which I'm going to try to go out in the village to show you guys. So l- let me ask you this. Speaking, about, speaking of the mercenary with a heart of gold, mm-hmm. uh, one of the things that I've found sort of difficult about Tales games in the past is that they, they do sort of lean heavily on, the, on those sort of like character character archetypes that mm-hmm. just sort of appear all over the place. Oh, yeah. Like, is... Like, are there twists on those character t- character types in this? Or is it this? pretty much the same? Like, if you've seen a few anime series, you pretty much, hey, it's the crazy, that's like, oh, it's the woman who can't cook, but thinks she can cook. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a little bit in between. Like, the Tales series is never not going to have anime tropes in it, unfortunately. It's just what it's about. But what I found to be in this one that they did a little bit better was you still have that like best friend you know childhood best friend who's secretly pining for the main character which they've done repeatedly in <laughs> games right like you're never I mean, gonna get repeatedly away repeatedly in the Tales series even yeah, right yeah, yeah repeatedly okay. in the Tales series but there's some interesting characters in as you go through the party even like with Alvin where his arc takes him I thought was interesting and different um, you get a character later who has a talking doll which Quark saw in the intro and he was all about that yeah finally um, <laughs> but finally it, a, a, dumb, a dumb stuffed animal with an annoying voice <laughs> it's a character that's going to annoy you at first but then there's something so much deeper with the girl who owns the character as you go yeah. on has a kind of a really sad story and there's a reason why, why she has that doll that and it goes and it's just just, parents died, okay? God damn it, for <laughs> it's, <just kidding. laughs> it's like living in a like an apartment where there's always a siren. After a while you just grow there's used so to it. There's so many tropes, you're gonna hear them all at one point. Yeah. yeah. So the talking <laughs> yeah. doll doesn't become less annoying, you just finally give up fighting no, it. You don't I'm fight assuming. It. Well, just just go through. Something well, happens with the you doll. You make this very hard life, not to tell what would you do. You know, spoil stuff. So let's be sensitive be to the people listening. Okay. If you don't know that that talking doll was a gift from the parents as they died in a fire. Then. No, that's not what happened. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they drown. Okay, whatever. So at what, what point do you kind of get into combat? Yeah, I'm trying to get there right now and it won't let me leave. <laughs> so I'm trying to... Uh, it's like you have to spend the night here first. But actually, we're going to meet the girl with the talking doll, I believe, now. Uh-huh. So that might be cool to see. And I promise you I will get you to combat. Yeah, that's the Kim Wallace guarantee. Yeah. <laughs> Not every day we get that. But now you you wrote on? a column, your your first installment of RPG Spotlight, and you picked this series. Yep. And RPG Spotlight is kind of one of those things which I appreciate if someone doesn't play a lot of RPGs. If you just after a while, it's really intimidating because you have all these like like Tales games, for instance, mm-hmm. the perfect way to start is just like, I know nothing about this. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I need to play past installments i don't know what to expect from gameplay what it's like at all so Mm -hmm. you should check that out on the site yeah Yeah, i did it because i get asked a lot from readers i've never played this series but i'd like to get into it you know what's it about will i like it and i thought that was a good way to break down if you you know haven't if you don't know anything about the series Mm -hmm. to kind of ease you into it um i recommend this definitely for jrpg fans if you can't stand japanese anime you're probably not gonna like it but i feel like the tales series does character development way better than a lot of other ones that are out there right now like Uh i felt oh there she is excuse me isn't she adorable Mm, Uh what is it (laughs) um what are you doing? Now, no, really. Liz, you actually haven't played the Tales films. series before, is that right? Correct. Yes. So, and you and you read the Spotlight. Yeah, what, I thought like, it was pretty cool. It was a nice, so like, quick, people, you know. In your way? It gave me an interest in the Tales of series. I had never really played it before, but I definitely want to check this game out. So, okay. What? Oh, it just made a boing <laughs> sound. <laughs> real quick. What in the world is what the uh, Alvin just said? <sighs> It's more Whoa, exciting to like see him. how, like I said, how these characters you come together and change throughout. I wonder how he got his yeah. beard to split like that. Curse you. Kinda, how dare he yeah. took a brush That's a much. trick. <laughs> Jeff Cork used to do that with his beard a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It just happens. Now she's running away. <laughs> <laughs> Where's she going? So if we're just meeting up with these characters, this must be fairly early in the... Yeah. You want to know what? I will skip this cutscene. So right. we don't see anymore, and we can get into combat because I'm getting dirty looks from Jason. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm assuming the gist of that was, uh, I'm a little 
alone. Can I go with you? All right, here's the awesome uh, combat. So, don't be alone. Uh, here's I something love interesting. You. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> seeing there's a skit, uh, they will talk about the strange girl, and it'll yeah. probably be funny, but I won't put you through that. Thank you. Save points. You can't save anywhere. There's a quick save, but the save points are numerous enough that it did bother me, but I do feel like at this point. So, around the. Uh, save anywhere is, is more of a handheld RPG yeah. than a console RPG. Thing. I guess, but. Still, so there's little treasures all around the world, as you see. Armored cool. llamas. See, I just got money. Ooh. Yeah, fight Whoa. the llama. Oh, it's a all fox right. llama. Let's go. Let's get this. So I am linked to Mila right now. And what linked attacks do is she will go on the other side of the enemy so I can hit him from behind for more damage. Look at this. Whoa, linked art. Whoa, Whoa <laughs> linked art. Whoa, way to make it exciting, Kim. That was a big fist, though. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, there. It's fu it's a fun, fast battle system. See, that only took a few seconds, and I'm out, and I got my money, and I can pick if I want to go through these uh, attack these enemies. They will target me, but they're really easy to avoid if you don't want to fight, and they're also easy to get. Be oh, get him. back of. Okay. Oh, fight that big dumb turtle. See, watch this. Now I'm getting a preemptive attack. Holla! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kim. <laughs> I don't know what arts I have because this is really early in the game, so give me a second to reorient myself. I've been playing with a full stack because I just completed the game the other night. Oh, the igneous crush. So I will link up with Alvin now instead. And each character has their own perks. So one character will like steal items for you if you link with them. Another one has a magic guard. So, the, you know, we'll put that on you as you attack. It's a cool way to make the system deeper, but still fast. And mm -hmm. another thing I want to show everyone is what's new is this Lilium Orb, which is very much like the Final Fantasy X Spear Grid. And you pick your abilities by that. You get points and you put them in to what you want. So you know what's coming. Okay, if I do that, I'll get 2% TP, which is what you, how much you need to do your special arts. And, uh, yeah, you get boosts, and you can kind of decide how you want to build your characters. So, like I said right now, if I decided to do that, I activated it, and there you go. I get TP gain mm -hmm. now. TP. Um, <laughs> sorry. So this is my arts, and this is where I assign stuff to butt. I know, I know, I know, I fail. I knew when I was going into this test chamber with you two I was going to be in trouble. Yeah. But... We tried. This is where you assign, so that's how you do your actions. They're all assigned to the controller. Mm -hmm. Very fast. Um, then there are skills that you can set to, and you have a set amount, so your SP. So I could have him now have better stamina, Earth Guard, Magic Guard, TP Gain, HP Gain. Whatever you want. I love systems like that. So, <gasps> oh no! <laughs> So right now we only have three characters, so... How far in the game is this? Like only two, three hours. All right, because you're still fighting birds. That's typically pretty early on yeah. in these games. I don't yeah, see anything... you'll get robots later. Really? Um, like mechs and stuff. Far too easy. But, okay, the larger enemies, these, these these fights, obviously, that was like 15 mm -hmm. seconds. Oh, gosh. But they go the, pretty long. The boss battles are freaking intense. Like, I had one the other day that was just... That sounds If intense. you think that you can hoard your items and you're going to be fine, no, you're going to use your items in these and they're going to be do or die by like a sliver of life you're going to win by. And that's just, it really, you can't button mash for them. Like you have to, like I, if I did that in a boss battle, you have to guard. There's just so many things that make this system fun. And to what degree can you control like the AI of your companions? So I can switch to them as they're in the party if I want to, mm -hmm. um, and play as one of them, or there are ways that I can set their tactics in the menu. They also have it where they will use items of yours if they need them, and you can set you know, the tactics to that as well, like do you want them to do it or not, but it actually helped me, so I just let them. Like I thought the AI was pretty, pretty good, so, and usually that's one of my complaints if they don't, so, like, this is all the stuff. All the sub-events, all kind of, like, the, the certain things you're doing. There's quests through here. So I said, big, all the staples of what you love about JRPG, and 
yeah, I think that. Where where do you think this one falls in terms of your uh, favorite Tales games? Um, pretty close, like high on the list actually. I think for me, Symphonia, and I like Abyss, although a lot of people don't, but I thought the development was really great in that. Hmm. Um, I wouldn't put it over Abyss, but I'd put it pretty close with Symphonia for me. Okay. I liked it a lot. It's a shorter Tales game. Um, for me, the playthrough took like in the mid-30 range. Uh, there's all there's some extra quests that I'm going to go back and maybe do, but Is I a lot did of the majority grinding of them. or... Well, a lot, that's the other problem with the Tales series is that... Oh, wait, no. Here's something cool that I forgot to talk about. I don't know if I have it yet, but one of the things is repetition, but there's a fast travel. I see yeah, that I don't now. have it yet. Uh, you guys are driving me nuts. But there is... No, so there, but there's, there's a, a fast, fast travel. travel, which is something that they previously never had. If you visited an area and have to go back to it you can just press a button, pick it, and go there. So that cuts down some of the repetition. The only problem is that some of the areas, like what we're at now, look very similar. So we'll get like an ice area, but looks exactly like this, you know. Hmm. That was something that's a little that they need to do better with. But if this, you know, you under they're cutting their budget, obviously, and not many JRPGs right now come to console. So eh, it's not the end of the world but and also like there is repetition like you will fi face the same boss over like the person over and over again especially as you get towards the end so i will give people that disclaimer but i will say if you love story love watching your party bond and grow together love getting uh, you know the fast battle system learn how a little girl got a doll yes yes that too <laughs> Be, be prepared uh, for a great time. So, All right. Well, thank you, Kim, Joe, and Liz. Appreciate it. Yeah. And again, if you want to see more about this game, check out uh, Kim's RPG Spotlight on the series. And my review. Or watch this thing that you were watching. Again. Again. It's beautiful. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, that's it. And thanks for watching.